Okay, so in this demonstration we're going to have a look at the iSpy for Performance product. Um, so I'm going to go through lab 17. So the first thing I need to do is I need to connect to the class iSpy server. And that's located at the URL which will be http colon slash slash 1010. And then depending on which VLAN you're on, uh, which will be um, 13 in our case, dot 28. And to yes. Okay, then we log in. So the login we do is iSpy demo, and then the password is password. Okay, so we're going to start by selecting a device and then cross linking into the iSpy performance server. So we go to inventory, nodes. Then we select router one. So router one is the one that we are we are working on. And then from here we just bring up the iSpy interface. So we go to actions, NNM iSpy performance, and we want to go for report reporting menu. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up the generic performance chart for the server itself or for the router. So we do that by going to drilling from reports, we go into component health, so rise by metrics, component health, component metrics, and then from here then we go for chart details. So this will bring up a, a near real time chart. Okay, so the chart has come up. We can see that, that it's, it's basically graphed um, the last hour's worth of data for the particular router we had selected, which in this case was, was that fellow there. And the metrics that we've got are memory utilization, so maximum and memory utilization average. Okay, so to change the metric that we're graphing, we can click on options. And then from here, you get a drop-down list, so you can pick the metric that you want to look at. So, for example, if I change that to uh, memory utilization average. And then from here, we click on confirm selection. So once I select the confirm selection button, so just scroll across there, there we go. Then the graph will be redrawn with the metric that I've specified. Okay, and there we go. Now, so now we're graphing the average, and we're graphing the average CPU. If I want to add another metric to that graph, then, for example, as I say, I want to also include the memory maximum, then again, we just click on the Options button. Select the new graph, the new metric that I want to bring up. So I'll say maximum. Then click confirm selection. Okay. So that's replaced the metric. Now if I actually want to add a different metric, so I'll go back to options. Click on the add icon, so that's this little fella here to add a new metric. Pick the metric that you want to graph. So this time I'm going to put in, um, I'll put back in the average. So memory utilization average. Scroll across here, click confirm selection. And now we can see the graph is redrawn with the three metrics as, as uh, specified. Another thing we often want to do, sometimes we want to, we want to export this report, maybe email it to somebody. So from here, if you go up to this little icon here, this fellow, 
uh, click the drop down option and then I can export it as a HTML file I can export it into Excel or as a CSV file so the actual metrics in the report can be exported in this case I'm just going to go for PDF click open and there you go so now because it's a PDF I can then save this and, and send it to somebody Back as a HTML format. Okay, I might also decide that I want to keep this report um, for historical reasons, so I can save it. So to keep this version, I can click on keep this version. I can say that I want to save the report. And I'm going to call it my saved report I'm going to add it to my folders then I click the OK button OK so so to see that if I scroll down here in the reports menu I've got my folders, so I can expand that out. And there we go, there's my saved report. So that report is available to me anytime I want to, uh, to review it. Okay, sometimes we may want to modify the report option. So in this case here, the report is currently reporting on router 172.16.100.1. I may want to compare these metrics across a couple of routers. So what I can do is I can rerun the report and modify its parameters. To do that, I click on Run Prompts. And these are all the parameters available within the report. So the one that I want to modify is Node Name which is this one here. So currently the node name is 172.16.100.1. So to modify it, click on the search icon. I'm going to tell it to search for any nodes in the topology database that start match 172.16. From here I'm going to add another router to it. So I'm going to add router 2, insert. So now that the router is selected, so now I say select all. Now what I want to do is I want to scroll down the page. So there's the, that's, the, that's the only parameter. So all these other parameters are available for me to modify. So and I'm going to click apply. Then if I click the next, so, so there are the problems I've modified, apply, and I'll click the next button. So here I can, I can modify the interval, so for example in this case I want to change it from hours to days. So change the interval from five minutes to one day okay click next All right so now we've made the changes to our parameters so here so here I get an opportunity to add or remove metrics from it so I just click finish And there we go. So now the report has been regenerated with the new new parameters. So to recap that, you, you do it by modifying the 
run prompts.